there's various kinds of meters, uh, VU meters, which are these ones here, which I think everybody's seen, which measure the average volume of a signal. And uh, I believe they were developed to measure the volume on telephone lines. So here we are in the audio business using something that was designed for telephone lines. The other kind of meters that people are used to are the PPMs or peak meters that all have LEDs in them, coloured bars flying up and down. And these generally always peak to about zero. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they don't tell you anything. All they tell you is everything's going to zero which is exactly what's happening all the time on digital signals everywhere. Whereas with the VUs, which have been around for years, uh, they give a good indication of the average volume of the signal you're working on. Um, the other thing it also tells you is it, it kind of tells you what's going to happen. It also tells you what has happened and also tells you which way it's going to go after it's happened. Uh, that's just my view of it. Whereas the PPMs, the peak meters, just tell you it's zero. They don't tell you anything else to do with the character of the music or anything like that. But the good old VUs to me are the ones with the character. And they are the ones I rely on all the time. That's what I was taught on. 40 years later, that's what I'm still using, VU meters. And the other thing about meters you've got to bear in mind, none of them are right. The only thing that is right is your ears. So use the meters as a guideline and uh, use your ears for the rest of it. You can't go wrong. Loudness in mastering, I think, stems from the good old days when vinyl records were around and everybody wanted their record as loud as possible. And I think the reason stems for that is that when it was played on a jukebox, it would actually sound louder than the previous person's record. And also there was a comment made about surface noise and things like that, which I think are irrelevant. But of course when CD arrived, uh, we were all told no problems with volume. It's all great. It's going to be fantastic. But the thing is with this, the volume is that people still want it to sound loud against somebody else's. There's two ways of doing it. You either do it at the mastering stage by using digital limiters, analog limiters, and try and get it as loud as possible. But the right way to do it is for you lot out there to mix it to sound loud. And one thing that's happened over the last 10, 20 years is the actual mixing of tracks is getting quieter. When we get them in here, the first thing I do is play a track at the volume that I know is correct for me. And if that music comes up to that volume, then I know I'm okay. If it doesn't, then I obviously have to adjust it. In other words, get the mix to actually sound loud. And that is a, a skill in itself. If you can get it to sound loud, but on your meters look low, then by the time I've got my hands on it, it can actually sound really loud. And this is the skill of, let's say, engineering, is to actually get your music to cut across to the public in a, a manner that actually makes it sound loud. Don't expect mastering engineers to make everything loud because we can't do it all the time. So get on out there, use your ears, use your compressors and mix it to sound loud. Don't rely on me.